What's up y'all, Josh Locke here, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over the Facebook Pixel and how to set that up. But before I begin, again, my name is Josh, AKA Walla Moose, and I post twice a week here on YouTube with videos regarding digital business and entrepreneurship, so if you're interested in that, please subscribe, I would love to have you along for the ride. But without further ado, let's get started. So a Facebook Pixel is a line of code or specific ID that you can put on your website, and that way Facebook can track your visitors and see how people interact with your different pages on your website. And this is an excellent tool to utilize because you can retarget visitors who have already visited your site and maybe interacted and shown interest, but didn't quite convert, didn't buy anything, didn't put your email in. And you can send Facebook ads to those people, these warm customers per se, and hopefully through retargeting, you can get those people to convert. So I fully recommend putting a pixel on your website, even if you don't plan on running ads anytime soon, it'd be good to have that data for the future. So let's jump in here to Facebook and I'll show you how to set one of those up. Alrighty, so we're here in Facebook business and as you can see, my dog is gracing us with his presence for today's video. I'll try to keep my head out of the way so you can see him. Um, but if you would, just jump into your Facebook business portal and we can get started. So Facebook recently updated and it was a bit hard to find when they first updated, but I finally tracked it down where to set up the pixel and uh, let's go ahead and walk through that. All right, so on the home page, just go over here to the hamburger icon and pull up all tools and we are gonna go down here to to events manager under manage business. And this is why it's kind of hard to find because you wouldn't assume a pixel is under the events manager, but technically Facebook considers an event anything people do to interact with your website. So if people visit a page, that's technically an event of visit, ooh, tongue twister. That's an event of visiting the page, Ugh, if I can get that out. And I've got an old, old pixel that I no longer use here, but yours should be empty. And so to create a new one, what we're gonna do is go over here to the left, to this green plus button and hit connect data sources. And this is where we're gonna connect your website. So in this video, I'm just gonna talk about web because that's what most people use. If you have an application, if you're one of the few that use it for applications, go ahead and click on that. Same concept applies, but for, for today's video, I'm gonna use the web. So click on that and connect. And now you're presented with two options, Conversions API and Facebook Pixel. Conversions API is a bit more advanced, so we're gonna go the, the easy way and do the Facebook Pixel. So click on this and connect. And since you can have multiple pixels, you're gonna go ahead and name it just so you know which one's which. So let's just do, ooh, if I, I need to type YouTube demo, and then set up your website uh, just so you can future reference which pixel goes to which website if you have multiple. Uh, but since this is just a demo, I'm gonna leave this blank. I don't wanna accidentally assign it to my website. And then once you do that, you'll, present, you'll be presented with two other options. So a Facebook pixel uses HTML coding. And so whatever application you're using, whether it be Shopify, WordPress, um, Git leads, or what, what's it called? Something, maybe Git response? No, smart leads, I don't remember. But all those applications use HTML, so all you need to do is copy the code and put it in. However, if you're using something that's a direct partner with Facebook Pixel, there may be like a little input form where you can do that, so go ahead and use that. But off the top of my head, I don't know the list of partners, so we're gonna install the code manually. So click on this. And then after we do all that, we'll be presented with our code. And again, the code is an HTML tag, and so if you're not familiar with HTML, essentially, Every website or program uses HTML to function. And at the top of the code, there's the, the header code, which is a bracket, head, and then a closed bracket. And then at the end of that, there's a bracket forward slash head. So what you wanna do is copy and paste your code between the head tags. And so it remains in the header of your website or program that you're using. And for the purpose of this video, every application is different of how to edit the HTML. Just go to Google and search, whether it be WordPress, just say how to edit the head tag HTML of WordPress, and you should be able to find it. And since there's so many different programs, I'm not gonna go over them all in this video, so um, you'll have to look up for yourself based on your certain situation. But if you are having trouble, just let me know in the comments, and I'd be, I would love to help you out. I'll look for myself for your specific program and uh, let you know where to edit that. So just copy and paste this pixel into your head tag and continue. And then Facebook recently updated last year, they have automatic advanced matching. And so if people have already interacted with your website, put their email in. Um, if you have a history of people interacting with the website, just turn this on and you can pull data from the past. But if you're starting from scratch, just leave it alone um, and then hit continue. And now we're just gonna go a step further, hit open event setup tool. 
and this is where you'll actually confirm that it worked or not. So insert your URL, open your website, and then it'll ping it and make sure it's working. Um, and then if not, just troubleshoot where to put that HTML, uh, try it again, and then hopefully it'll work. So that's pretty much how to do the Facebook pixel. And then once you do that, once you ping it and confirm everything works, you'll be able to test events, diagnostics, history of how people interacted. And so when you're running ads in the future, you can retarget based on pixel data and um, one good application is if you're trying to capture emails and there's people who have visited a certain landing page but haven't put their email in, you can retarget those people on that landing page um, to hopefully land on it again and put their email in. So it's really good to get warm people who have already visited your shop, like I said before. But that's pretty much how to set up a pixel and a brief overview of what it is. If you have any questions, again, let me know in the comments. I know the HTML can get a bit complicated with some of the things like WordPress, um, but hopefully you'll have an easy time finding where to put that. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe. Again, I post twice a week. I'd love to have you here. Um, but thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.